it's a minor theme, but we like come across it a bunch of times, and it's always fun when it comes up. And I think it's kind of in in Dickens too. Drop a clue. It's uh, it has to do with men and women. Pretty much any time you bring that up, we always have a heated discussion. <laughs> <laughs> so what do Lewis and what do Lewis and Dickens what do Lewis and Dickens have in common? Right. Yeah. How? How so? <laughs> 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 who else? Who else? Mm. Well, what does Mr. Cratchit say? I give him some of the peace yeah. stone. Yeah. 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 Here, here. Just I give him a peace stone. Any other yeah. fierce women? His nephew's wife. Right. Fred's wife. And how are? What are the men like? At the, what are Fred and Cratchit like? Seeing the good. Seeing the good. Yeah. In spite yeah. of the shortcomings of the people. Yeah. And this? In spite of the shortcomings of the wives? Of the people. Of the people. <laughs> 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 okay. 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 Scrooge your shortcomings and both both the Fred and uh, Cratchit. But it's not even shortcomings. I mean, it's it's they, it's like he's evil. I mean, he's he's e I mean, really malevolent. I mean, from being on the receiving end of Scrooge, but really, I mean, you you need him, but it's it, it really easy to view him as actually evil, not you know, sort of defective. Well, Fred didn't say that. I mean, he well, Fred, yeah, him. Fred was relatively free of, <laughs> of the. Scrooge couldn't do anything for Fred. Right, but Fred loved Scrooge. Right. But do they, do Lewis and Dickens have the same view of men and women in the household? I would just say from that point play. Maybe the household is a key distinction because Bell, I don't think, fits into the Isabel. Yeah. Didn't fit really. Or Fan. Well, and, and I think you have to be careful. Yeah, but they're earlier. They're earlier on, and they're sort of they're sort of his last his last stop of sanity and charity. I mean, they love. I mean, they're. Yeah. I mean, they're trying to hold him back from what he becomes. Yeah, or at least Bell is. I don't know. But, yeah. Well, Bell. Fan Bell. Dyer, Fan Dyer earlier. Yeah, no, she does that uh, when. The nephew was born when Fred was oh, born. Oh, she died. She died, she died at, at, his, at his childbirth. Okay. Um, Wait, isn't this cool? I don't really seem to care about this, but me. But isn't this cool that Lewis and Dickens? I mean, they both have this thing where, they're like, like women are Amazons. They're, they're <laughs> like, it's like, like the guys grumble. The guys I don't know grumble. Dickens exactly has that idea. Yeah, I mean, he yeah. had children. Well, but why no, well, I don't think it's, are you, are you, wait, do you think it's a bad idea, or, no, it's, I don't think it's a, it's not so a bad idea. Do you know anything, like, fierceness isn't a bad thing, it's just their fierce. No, but, but I, I mean, but if you look at these, the two couples we see, we see both the, we see two couples, with both the men and the women reacting to Scrooge, and they're both in the same power. Well, okay, so why uh, would they, the why Scrooge. were they reacting to Scrooge the way they were, to protect the men in their lives? Their family, yeah. Yeah. Like they're like it's it's like it's just like Lewis says. The the man is out there and he's sort of the diplomat and he has to deal with Scrooge. He's, he's the one going back on twelve twenty six, and and he's also like well, for better or worse, I mean he's he's where I get my paycheck, and is apparently the best thing that Cratchit could get. And um, I don't know, and, 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 and but but Fred's wife that really tells it because. She doesn't have that much of a gripe, except that they're probably not going to be heirs of, of Scrooge, right? Mm -hmm. So, but you see the same pattern. The guy's generous, and the woman's out. Oh, he's, he's horrible. But yet they weren't that way towards him directly. They didn't right. do But that that's the point. Him. That's yeah. the point, is they don't have interaction with him directly. They're protecting their families. The women are protecting their families, where the men do have the direct interaction. They actually meet him face to face. The women never meet him face to face. The women hate him or they're fierce so, so, but it's, Then it's a supposition that you're making from the set of court as to how they would react if they saw him. No, no, no. How they react how to they, the story. How they yeah, actually how they, do react. Yeah. But, part, but what you're saying is part of it. That the men actually 
go into his office, they actually deal with them. Like Lewis says, they're the diplomat of the family. And the one you really don't want to deal with when it comes to the rights of the family is the woman, because she's the mama bear. Mm -hmm. And she's going to, she's not going to say, can you give me a small raise? She's going to maul you and eat your dinner. <laughs> <time, you know? laughs> the, the, the fact that she doesn't have that direct contact gives her the, the liberty to be more fierce. Right. So she's, there's no risk in her being fierce and, and encouraging her husband to do some, something more. Right. Right. So. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like the... I mean, like a purity of intention. Because, I mean, he, he's aligned with the family, too, but he also has to live. Good night, Jenny. Good night, Samuel. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Samuel, say good night. Samuel. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night, Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night Bye. Samuel. My battery's dying, so this will be the last shot. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.